What's up guys and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. Got a quick little bonus tutorial for you today. This is a heavily requested video, so I figured I'd actually go ahead and give it a go. I'm gonna be showing you how to load custom sounds onto your Novation circuit. So I've already got my circuit connected to my computer via USB. Go to the Novation Components website. If you just search up Novation Components, it should come up. Follow the steps to get to this window. You have to use a MIDI enabled browser. So in this case, I'm using Google Chrome, or if you don't wanna use Chrome, you could download the standalone piece of software that they provide. But in this case, I'm just doing this directly in my web browser, cause that's definitely the easiest. So Novation Circuit connected. I'm gonna go ahead and choose circuit. And you are presented with this window, but you're not quite ready yet because you need to actually connect your circuit. So click this up here, hit connect. Yeah. And once your circuit is connected, it should show lights looking like this, meaning it's properly connected to the computer and ready to receive or back up your sounds. This video is definitely focused on receiving sounds and I'm gonna do this a few ways. I'm going to show you how to load an entire pack. I'm going to show you how to load a batch of sounds all at once. And I'm gonna show you how to load individual sounds. So to load an entire pack, go up to browser and you can upload a pack from your downloads. So in this case, I've got the Bow Beats Coffee and Beats pack loaded onto here. So I'm gonna go to the component files. This is the full pack. And I'm gonna select that and it's going to upload it all to my pack. So all of Bo's samples are in here. All of his patches are in here. And from here, I actually wanna go ahead and start switching some stuff out. So if I want to change samples, I can press this and hit this button to upload a file that's full of samples. So in this case, I've got my sample pack full of my drum samples that I want to load onto here. And now, those are all my drum samples, but with Bose patches. What I've just done is created a mixture of sounds. I uploaded all of my drum samples as one file into here uniformly, and then I've got all of Bo's patches here still intact because I haven't changed any of those out. Now what I want to do is change that even further because I've got a couple of very specific samples and patches that I want to load in here as well. First of all, I've got a breaks sample that I want to load into here. So I'm gonna find a sound that I'm okay with getting rid of. And I've got quite a bit of time remaining on here. So I can get away with that. I did very specifically design my drum samples to be as short as possible, to leave as much leeway as possible, but I even went overboard on that. But usually if you're loading samples into here, it's good for them to be as short as possible. So to bring this break in, all I have to do is drag it into the pad that I want. And I can do this with other one shot samples as well and just start slowly switching stuff out. And I'm going to do the same with patches because I wanna load a few Tom Cosm sounds onto this thing and kind of mix and match Bose stuff, which is really great for chill electronic music, and then Tom Cosm's stuff, which is really great for heavy electronic music. So once again, to do that, I've headed over to patches. I can go into his individual sounds and I can start loading those sounds in just by clicking and dragging, which is super nice. So from there, I'll just continue to go through this process. It takes a little bit of time up front, but it's ultimately very worth it because once you've done this, you'll have a, just a full pack full of inspiration that you can just use without even having to think about it. So once I've loaded in all the sounds that I want, once again, I started with a full pack that I just loaded in all at once. Then I loaded in a full batches worth of samples. Once again, all at once. And then I loaded in individual samples just to swap out a couple of these and individual patches to swap out roughly a third of these. I'm happy with what I'm about to load onto my circuit. I can actually go ahead and hit send to circuit and send the entire pack and that will do its thing. It'll sit here loading, sending all the stuff onto the circuit. And when it's done, it'll show some kind of orange lights here and it'll show up on the screen as well that it's entirely good to go. So if you want to download my free Novation Circuit drums pack, you can check the link in the description. This is a case where you can just load it in once exactly the way I showed in this video and it'll just populate every single sample with the stuff that I've already laid out and I laid it out to be as intuitive and versatile as possible. So all I ask in return is that you hit the like button on this video and subscribe and be sure to stay tuned because I've got a video about the best Novation Circuit packs in 2020 coming up soonish. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit. Peace.